Hey, Oliver fans. So this is the start of day four of Oliver's amazing road trip adventure. What do you think, Oliver? How's it been so far? <laughs> okay. Oliver is looking a little bleary eyed. Maybe he wanted to get more sleep last night. Oh, there's that yawn. Okay. Well, you could sleep a little bit in the car while we're driving, okay? So this morning, we just checked out of our hotel, the Candlewood Suites here in Casper, Wyoming. Casper's a mining town in Wyoming. And we're heading today to Salt Lake City. It's about a six hour drive. Oh, does that sound not very interesting to you? So uh, this is pretty much the halfway point of our trip. And I just wanted to do a little look back and consider uh, how Oliver has done so far on this trip. I would say that he has done extremely well with the road trip part of the trip. Like he has not been car sick at all. He's been really relaxed in the back seat. He loves being high up on that seat that we got for him back there. Also, I'd say that he's really loved seeing all these new places that we've seen. You know, he seems really curious when we get out of the car. He loves the new smells. Um, and I, I'd say that that's the case even for stuff that humans might not find super interesting, like the rest shops in, in Minnesota. He really loved those. That being said, um, dogs are, are like humans. They crave novelty, but they also crave stability. And I have to say, you know, it's, it's, we'd sort of wonder what's going through Oliver's head because we've left our usual home. We've been sleeping in a different place every night. We haven't been able to maintain regular meal times. We sometimes eat late, sometimes eat a little bit early. Um, so you could say that Oliver's routine has been completely upended or thrown out of whack. And dogs really crave routine. So I know that this probably hasn't been super easy for Oliver, losing that sense of routine. I wouldn't say that he's become anxious. Like we haven't, he hasn't been barking a lot the way you might with a dog that's become anxious, but I think it's fair to say that he is a little bit worried, maybe concerned. Like, what is happening? It, you know, when we arrive at a new hotel room every night, he's like, is this our new home? Maybe that's what he's thinking. And it's especially noticeable when one of us leaves the hotel room and doesn't bring Oliver with us. He gets really anxious and he does bark at the door. He wants to come and follow. Uh, I think he might be worried that we're going to go to the car and then leave and not come back. So. He really wants to keep the three of us together. You know, he's always um, keeping watch to make sure that we're all together. So uh, that's that's my little spiel for today. We're gonna head to hit the road. We're gonna take a little look around Casper, Wyoming, see what there is to see here. And then we're gonna head to Salt Lake City, about a six hour drive. So it's a fairly long day again today. And Oliver, let's go. Or as they say in German, low skates. Oliver, you want to go try on some boots? What do you think? What do you think, Oliver? A little bit too big for you? How about these ones, Oliver? $351? That's a lot for a boot. But they look pretty fancy. So apparently the pulled pork is already in that serving container because Oliver's very excited about it. Homemade pulled pork coleslaw sandwiches with chips <laughs> and for only $5.99. That is crazy, Oliver, as the sign says. Oliver's like, this is the best store. <laughs> this is the best store in all of Casper, Wyoming. Why don't you guys realize this? It's amazing. Well. It's okay, Oliver. We have our own lunch. Doesn't look like they're serving yet. It's not lunchtime yet. Come on, let's go. So we're leaving Casper, heading west. Oliver's a little bit disappointed he didn't get any of that pulled pork sandwich, so we're gonna stop for lunch somewhere along the way. Hey Oliver, do you want a nugget? 